Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your sensational, sensational, I don't know, host. It is Thursday afternoon. Today is shoulder day. If you've been following along with my workouts, you know I've done a six week program that I kind of come up with myself where I do one movement per body part, the same movement, uh, for six weeks. So today is my shoulder day and it's sitting dumbbell press day. And this is week number six and this is six weeks of doing just this exercise for my shoulders. So, uh, Monday was legs. The movement of choice for leg day this six weeks has been my compact leg press, uh, hack press. Tuesday, the movement of choice has been flat Smith Machine bench. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, I'm lost on my days. Wednesday is arm day. My choice for movements on arm day are sitting concentration dumbbell curls and tricep uh, skull crusher, uh, you know, a dumbbell where you take one dumbbell, you lay down and you, you know what skull crushers are. Go check out my video. So today is Thursday. Now, on leg day, I didn't try to do a PR because I've only got so much weight that I can put on my sled. I've only got 490 pounds. So, I mean, I can do that for multiple sets and multiple reps. <clears throat> so, um, Tuesday, I got a PR on my bench. And uh, Wednesday, I did a PR with my tricep uh, with the skull crushers. I used the 100 pound dumbbell. And as far as the biceps go, I didn't really get a PR. I just went up to my 50s and did about three or four sets with the 50s on the concentration curls. But I also did my electroshock therapy on my left arm while I was working out uh, through most of my sets or most of my lighter sets. And I was getting a really good burn and a good uh, shock from my TENS therapy machine. You can go check out a video from that as well. I got a video on that. So today, uh, my dumbbells range from 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then I have 80s and then I have 100s. So how can I get a PR on my shoulder day whenever I can do the 80 pound dumbbells for multiple sets of multiple reps? They're not beautiful reps all the time, but they, they get done. How can I do a PR on my shoulder day when I don't have the dumbbells for it? Hold your butts right there. What we got here are two five pound dumbbells and I have two more dumbbells, two five pound plates. I'm going to duct tape a plate on each end of each 80 and uh, we're gonna try and press 90 pounds without it killing us. So that's my only method that I can go up and try to get a PR. Uh, so I wish I had 2.5s instead. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so uh, that's my plan to try to get a PR on my dumbbells. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. We're not going to film all that. You've seen me do dumbbell presses uh, with my shoulders a thousand times. Once I get to the 80s, I'm going to do probably a set of uh, with the 80s and then I'm going to take these on. And I'm going to try and do a set with 90. So we'll see you then, guys. Stay tuned because this could be amazing or, I don't know, it could be crazy. All right? Okay. So right now we're going to do just one shot uh, with just the 80s. And then after this, I'm going to try and take those fives on and go from there and see how we do. So let me go ahead and grab the 80s and we'll do some of those. Oh. 
Okay. So, a set of 10. My goal is to tape those fives on each end, which will make them 90. My goal is to at least get two reps. You know, if we're going for a PR, we're not going for a lot of reps. I'd like to get two. So let me get them set up, guys. Whew. All right, guys. This is not something I recommend doing. I don't even know if the tape's gonna hold long enough for me to get a, a, even a rep. I don't even know if I'm gonna get them up, I'm gonna try. Did you just see that, guys? Let me catch my breath, write that down. I'll get back with you. Okay, guys, that was amazing. Wow, I feel really good about doing that. So I got the scale in here. I'm gonna try and get an accurate reading. Go ahead and get it going. Uh, I'm 221.2, fully clothed and no bathroom today. So let's check what this dumbbell is. It said 88.8. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, 88.8. So not 90. Let me check the other dumbbell. So that says 92. So uh, it equals out to 90 pounds. That's an average of 90, we'll say. So I'll still call it 90. Wow, I'm really happy. 
Now I got the rest of my workout to, to finish up. I still have a few more sets of the presses to do. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna film it. I was just wanting to get this done and kind of inform you and show you what's going on. So I'm super happy. That's a PR for me with dumbbells for sure. That's amazing. Wow. So I'm gonna get my workout done. Uh, tomorrow is back day. And uh, on back day for this six week program, I'm doing bent Smith machine rows. And uh, we'll go, and uh, I don't know if I'll get a PR on that because I already go up pretty heavy anyway and my form's not great on them. So, you know, we'll just kind of play it by ear tomorrow. Well, guys, I hope you're as excited for me as I am for me. That was a pretty cool thing to do. And uh, I think I could grab the hundreds and do them. Never know. Not down the road too far, probably. So guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Me, the guy who just pressed those amazing dumbbells. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, don't forget to inspire someone today along the way, including yourself, because you're more important than anyone else in your day. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!